It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brewery Konigshof in Germany. And this is a bottle of their pills. It's a 500 milliliter bottle, brown glass bottle, gold and green bottle cap with a label on there. It's won a gold medal at the Goldener Press 2023. Must be some German, maybe some German lager competition that's held annually there. It's 4.8% ABV, 500 milliliter bottle. I'm super excited to get this beer out. I am well into my pills at the present moment. Really enjoying them. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Now, oh, let me open this door. That's better. I was wondering why we were, we were echoing. And I was like, why, why the echo? Right, doors open. Now, I've been doing a lot of lager reviews recently and all my blooming nice German lager jugs are in the dishwasher. So we're gonna kind of go on with a British tulip Fosters or kind of carling glass here for this one. I'm, I'm presuming it's not going to make too much of a difference. I would definitely prefer to put it in a German German style glass, but we'll use what we'll use, yeah. Something very similar. So we got a one to two finger white head. Good levels of carbonation rolling up the glass here. It's not a nucleated glass, it's a regular pint glass. Nicely, nice carbonation there on the, on the glass. It's a straw coloured, light amber coloured beer. The beer was kindly sent to us by our channel sponsors, beersofeurope.co.uk. If you've been abroad working or if you've been on holiday, Maybe you've been to Germany, for argument's sake, and you come across this beer in Germany, and you loved it, and you want to drink it back in the UK. The best place to find this, or any other beer that you've found drinking whilst on holiday or working away, the best place to find it in the UK is beersofeurope.co.uk. There's a link in the description box of the video. Have a click on it if you want to, if you want to order some decent beer. But I'm going to get on with the review now. Uh, aroma on this beer then. It smells fantastic. Lots of stinging nettle, lots of spicy kind of pepperiness. Very clean aroma. Smells great, absolutely great. I mean, the weather is going to be 23 degrees here today in the UK, and for me, that's piping hot. That is pipe, that's enough. Like, you know, that's kind of like I need a cold pilsner to cool me down. I've chilled the beer down to about four degrees from my fridge here, straight out the fridge with this one. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Fantastic, 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 fantastic. Just wonderfully clean, drinkable, refreshing. So let me give you a little bit of a kind of like a contrast in situation. I play snooker, highest break about 20. I'm not very good, but I play snooker on a Wednesday night. And where I go to play snooker, um, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a kind of like a traditional British working man's club and they have cask doom bar on in there. And I was down there last night playing snooker and the place was really warm, humid, palms are sweaty trying to play type of thing. 
and I was drinking this Doomba and I was thinking to myself, as much as it's it's okay, as much as, you know, I can manage it, I would have, you know, I would have longed for something like this, you know, something ice cold to wipe away all of that kind of humidity and just refresh yourself. This is super, super beer. Super beer. Very, very clean, very refreshing. Carbonation pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. Little bit of kind of wafer malt sweetness to begin with. And then you've got that kind of classic German Pilsner bitterness on the back end. Stinging nettle flavours, stinging nettle and hops, the Darwin Tree of Life, they're very, very similar. Very, very similar, the kind of the, the hops and the stinging nettles. In fact, on the Tree of Life, they're cousins. They're cousins there. And it's just, well, it's just super clean, drinkable and lovely. But um, Pilsner, a very, very interesting style of beer. Um, I was in Germany, in Hamburg, about two years ago now. And I met a man who was fascinated by export style Dortmunder beers. And what he was explaining to me was, he was a bit of a historian, this guy. What he was explaining to me was that the export, the Dortmund and export style of beer um, was the dominant beer in the whole, whole of the kind of Dortmund area of Germany. And of course, being called export, it was exported all over the world. And because this was kind of going on 300 years ago, and there was no, of course, no social media, no television, no radio. Um, other parts of Germany were doing different things. So the Dortmund breweries thought they were kind of like they were holding on to their kind of baby, if you like. They were they were onto something forever. But there was companies like Warsteiner, Kronbacher coming along. And of course, other, other German breweries as well, producing this new style of beer. And this new style of beer, I'm talking 300 years ago, it's not a new style of beer anymore, but a new style of beer. And that was Pilsner. So Pilsner just crept and slowly ate the export market until these old big Dortmund breweries, it was too late for them. They didn't realise it was coming. It was kind of like a slow burn, if you like. And the next thing you know, your Kronbackers and your Warsteins were buying out your kind of Dortmund, the big, big, big giant breweries it's a bit like it's a bit like thornbridge growing slowly 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 and then buying ab and bev that's the kind of thing that kind of happened 300 years ago and it was a fascinating story by this guy but um just a little kind of story on pilsner for you yeah but this is great look at it absolutely great i could drink Drink kind of four or five bottles of this easily on a humid, stinking hot Welsh day. I'm gonna rate it. I really, really like it. It's clean, it's refreshing, it's lovely. It's classic German Pilsner. Water hops, malt, and yeast conforms to the German purity law, the Reichheitsschabot. I can never get that pronunciation right. But anyway, this Pilsner is fantastic. It's a Stone the Crows, 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.